Hey guys, how's it going? So we are back with another food vlog for you. Um, haven't done one in a little while, but I got a uh, vicariously Kyle over here. Hello. And so we're gonna be living vicariously today, obviously. Um, and he makes uh, food, you know, he's, he's a travel vlogger starting in Toronto, has a ton of food content on his channel, so I'll link it down below. So we have plans to try at least five shops today. All right. Five. And so we're right here uh, on the edge of High Park. And uh, our first stop today is gonna be down there and they open at 11, so I'm ready. Uh, I didn't. I had a light breakfast today, I don't know about you. Nah, I pounded back protein, I'm good to go. Okay, but we, we got stomachs that are empty enough and uh, I'm ready to get diabetes. Let's do it. As, as we always do with these desserts. So we'll see you at the first place. Let's do it. Our first stop is none other than uh, Andrea's Cookies right here on uh, Bloor Street near High Park. Um, heard really, really good things, so we'll see. I have a feeling we're gonna start off with a pretty high score right off the bat. Um, so show them what you got, Kyle. All right, I got, uh, what we pop with here? A chocolate chunk. I wanted to start with the classic. And uh, right there, <laughs> looking chunky, all right? All right? It's a classic. Melty and gooey. Feeling good. You're looking like five bucks for it, so uh, that better be good, right? Yeah. All right, let's give it a go. Yeah. That's uh. That's pretty good. Just pretty good. I'll be sure to. I use a little bit of salt. Good. Salt in a cookie, eh? I guess that's part of it, isn't it? Well, there it? is. There's flake salt on the top, which is nice. You got flake salt on there. I always add salt on your chocolate, all right? Drink chocolate milk, put a little salt mix in. All right. So I went a bit more inventive, so, so I'll show you mine. All right. All right, so I got the cookies and cream. I like to pick the one that kind of stands out the most. This was one of the ones that looked the best. Look at that. Amazing, you got that white frosting on top and you got the cookie crumbles. So I like a nice soft cookie. None of that Chips Ahoy stuff, you know. I, I want it to be baked fresh, so let let's let's give it a try here. Mmm. You got the fill some filling in there too. They got kind of that icing stuff kind of uh, embedded within it as well. meets my taste expectations. All right, all right, are we, are we rating these bad boys? We are. are we doing we are. a rating? Out of 10, I like to do it out of 10. Out of 10, all right, all right. So out of 10 on your uh, delicious cookies and cream right there, what are you feeling there, bud? Take one more bite and then I'll All right. I'll have the confirmation. I'll, I'll leave you a baseline. Drop the chunk, Andrea's delicious, soft, Soft is good. You like a soft cookie, I can understand and respect that. This one I feel like could have used a little more salt, could have uh, used a little more uh, time in the oven. I'm going baseline, five out of 10 for this bad boy. All right, for your cookies and cream, my man. Well, it's rather low, because uh, now I feel weird giving a really high score. Don't feel weird. What we're gonna do. Don't feel weird. Each to their own. Teach your own. This, this cookie is really, really good. I have very little, if any, complaints about it. And, uh, you know, obviously we have more to try, but I've heard this is one of the best. I'm gonna give it a solid 9.5 to start the day. And that's the highest score I've ever given something right off the bat, so. We'll see if anybody can get a 10 today, but I, I can't just give a 10, you know. There's always ways to improve, right? Fair enough, do drop it a 9.5 on the get-go. You, you wanna improve on that, it might be hard, but. But, yeah. that's a fantastic cookie. It's, it is, don't get me wrong, it's delicious. And five is not a disrespectful score. That is a baseline, that is a good, that is a solid. From there, we'll see where we go. It's an average score. All right. It's, it's a pass, it's a pass. It's a pass, all right. Well, on to the next one. We got more cookies to try. Here we go. 
Hey guys, hope you're enjoying this video. If you're planning a trip to Toronto yourself or anywhere else in the world, please feel free to click my link tree link in the description below where you'll find affiliate links to help you book your next flight, hotel, tours, and a whole lot more. This goes a long way to support the channel and it helps me create more videos like this one. Thank you very much and let's get back to the video. Alright, so we're at the second place here. Um, this is Baker Box. Um, now, it's kind of weird because they have, there's a place called Home Baking Co. And uh, apparently their cookies are here as well. But the cookie I'm going to be trying is from Baker Box. Um, and uh, we both got different cookies once again. So show them what you got. Alright, so I got uh, everything cookie. In that everything cookie, and you're looking at the chocolate peanut butter. Looking at some pretzel action in there. Yeah, that nice boy. Look at that. Let's get right in there. That's a nice thin cookie. I like the cookies a little thin. I want them soft, but I also want a good little crease in this too. So let's give this a uh, go. Mm. Mm. Tasting the saltiness, which you're always looking for. Do the peanut butter, do the pretzels, a little extra salt. That right there. Delicious. Okay, so before we do our ratings, I'll give mine a try. So I went to something that's supposedly pretty simple but pretty delicious. So we got the uh, the birthday cake. So very different style to the cookies and cream that I got the last place, but give you a little close up there. Birthday cake is always nice and colorful. Um, can't go wrong with the presentation. So let's give it a shot. Like the last one, nice and soft in the middle, a little um, uh, crispy along the edges, which I don't mind. Um, the flavor is not bad. Uh, you know, to uh, to compare them to the last, how do you feel about the overall texture and such? One other, one other thing to note. They got kind of a bit of crumbly sort of stuff going on here. It's kind of, I guess, part of the, the texture. Just wait for the coffee machine here. Hold on. I guess it's like granulated sugar kind of that you got there on the top. Now, your question was about the texture. For texture-wise. Um, texture? Because it's different flavors, but texture-wise, how'd you compare? I like the texture. Mm -hmm. um, the cookie's a little thin, so obviously you don't get as much for what you paid for, so I would maybe add Maybe a bit more height in that cookie. All right, all right. I mean, I would say then, regards to comparison, the last cookie was like what, five fifty, which was all right. But this one here, you get about two seventy five. Bang for the buck. I'm going with this one over the last any day. Flavor wise, delicious. And if you go for a straightforward rating on this, I'm going with a solid six. Okay. And uh, yeah, we did forget to mention the prices. Ah uh, yes. And yeah, so at Andrew's, I believe my cookie was like four seventy five. This place, it's more around two to three dollars. Yeah, I think it was about uh, two seventy five. Yeah, bucks. so you are, you are paying less for this as well. Um, now for me, um, it's not quite at the one before, but it is solid. It, it's really good. So I'm gonna give this one a. I'll give it an eight. Um, again, um, it meets everything in terms of texture, in terms of. Um, presentation and all that. Um, the taste is just maybe just not my cup of tea exactly. Um, but for gourmet cookie, it, you just can't you can't go wrong. Uh, so solid eight for me. There we go. Alright. Uh, take our way downtown. On to the next one then. On to the next one. Alright.
All right, so we're now we're in Little Portugal over here, um, and we're we, we're about to try Courage cookies. So uh, once again, one full cookie each. Could be the last time I do that, depending on how I feel, because it's it started to kind of wear it's me a down a little. Boy, in the full cookie at each place over here, man. I'm doing it for you guys. I'm doing it. Um, you know, I got I got to try it all in full. So, so uh, show show them what you have. All right. So uh, what we're looking at here. Hazelnut butter. Okay, get a little look at that bad boy. Just and and it's, it's not just hazelnut butter, it's the daily special. Ooh. So Ooh. There, it's special. It might not be Today, good. at least, it's special. Hey, right? El Speciale, okay? Let's see what it tastes like. I like the chew. Right. I like the solid, crisp texture to it. Got a nice faint hazelnut that comes in. It's a little stronger as you go. Overall taste I'm having here is the butter. Now, is it called hazelnut butter? Yes. Should I be expecting butter? Yes. That being said, could it use a little salt maybe? But overall, I like it. You can literally put no sugar in the cookie and you put like it said salt and this guy will love it. Most likely. Okay, so now it's my turn, so I'll hand the cut cam over to him. Here we uh, go. Alright, so So I got something a bit different. So this is um what's called the Dark and Stormy. So best name in the cafe clearly. Um and I was told it has ginger in it, it has rum in it. Um and if you look at it closely, there's this little thing in the middle. Kind of a little gelatin thingy. <laughs> I don't lime. know what it is, but a little but bit of lime in there. A little well. lime. Yeah, okay, it's like a dark and stormy okay. drink, right? Any bartenders uh, out there, you know what's going on. There we go. Now it's clicking. So uh, I noticed it's kind of inflated, kind of in the middle. You see the, the the shape is a little interesting. So it kind of has this rising part here, and then in the middle it kind of goes down. So um, let's give it a let's give it a try. I do like the taste, but I'll acknowledge the taste is not for everyone. Because it has more of that like kind of gingerbread-y sort of taste there to you it. Go. It's like a ginger beer, right? Yeah. yeah. I know my mom doesn't like gingerbread, so there's that. But um, what's interesting is it is very thin and crispy on the sides. And the inside, it's not only soft, it's pretty dense as well. Ooh. It's pretty dense. Um, hmm. I quite like the flavor, personally. All right. What I will say, though, is my favorite dessert out there, well, aside from cheesecake, is like brownies. And the reason I like brownies is because they're so dense. Um, and this kind of has that texture that I crave, you know? So, um, a solid cookie in my, in my view. What's your rating then, brother, for a solid, dark and stormy cookie from good old Courage Cookies? So, we're going to give this bad boy a um, an 8.75. It's almost it's almost at where Andrea's is. I guess I gave Andrea's a 9.5. It's it? a strong 9.5. So we're going to give this an 8.75. Alright. Um, the only thing that I think is stopping it from going higher is the aesthetics. I think they can get even more creative with the appearance. But aside from that, flavor is great. Texture is maybe my favorite so far, and I, re I really, really like this. Strong. That's a strong review. A strong number for Courage Cookies. Now, uh, for my delicious hazelnut in the butt, it is absolutely delicious. So don't get it twisted. When I say 5.5, I'm saying it's good. It's solid. That's it. Don't go getting offended by fives. Five's a great baseline. All right, this right here, delicious cookie. Thoroughly enjoy the texture, thoroughly enjoy the flavor. Is there room for improvement? It's just my personal preference. I think this might be someone's 10 out there, all right? For me, strong 5.5. I brought him on to balance it out because I'm more generous and I have to have a, a strict critic along for the ride as well. Because we want to keep these businesses honest. We want to promote them, of course, but we want to, you know, Toronto is a high standard, right? There we go.
right, so our journey has taken us to Little Italy, and uh, we got the mandatory sketchy graffiti wall as part of doing a downtown food tour. Um, so we're at a, uh, it's from Barbary Shop and Pizzeria, mm. and uh, before I forget, the, the prices were also around $3 here. Uh, 360 Bible once again, seems to be a standard price so far. Yeah, so, so Andreas, which, uh, you know, a little bit more, but they did give you more there, so respect yes, for that. that's true. Um, so we just got the one cookie this time, so, you know, uh, the belly's getting a little, <laughs> a little fat. Uh, uh, all right. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Let's, that, let's show them. Let's show them. You know what? Let's go for it. Let's go for it. So, check that out. Uh, what do you see? A front row center. Mm, I think that's a little bit of salt baby. Okay. Yeah. You always have it. All right. Now that right there, you're looking at a thinner style. You're definitely looking at a higher sugar content, higher butter content, getting that crispiness. I, uh, I'm hyped for this one. I'm hyped for this one. All right, let's crack that bad boy there. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Show him that split. Oh, look at that split. Let me reenact that for you. Ready? Oh, yeah, yes. You know, I'll give you that nice chocolatey boy right there. And I'm going to go for this piece right here. Let's see. Actually, let's do it at the same time. Let's do it. Simultaneous. Cheers. Cheers, brother. All right. Oh, man. No. I no. taste the salt. Best so far. Nice thin cookie. Very thin. Good texture, nice and soft. Very crispy on the edges. Mm -hmm. That is a fantastic ratio of salt to sugar to butter. Crispy, soft, gooey. Number one of the day so far. Let's get right to it. That bad boy is a strong seven. Bruh. It's going up for him. Mm. Now, I was the one who chose to go basic chocolate. Chunk, chocolate chip. So, we don't have that same innovation with this one, right? But I made the choice, so I have to keep that in mind. Now, they only had two types of cookies on display in there, so I have to factor that in as well. But, the cookie was very good. Uh, a little on the thin side. Uh, texture was good, soft. It's exactly what you want a chocolate chip cookie to be. I am going to give this one a... We're going to give it an 8. We're going to give it an 8. Um, so, it's still a very good cookie. Um, not the best one of the day for me. What do you think? Oh, hands down, best one of the day for myself. The combination seven. of everything, solid, solid, strong seven. Okay. So, um, I think the next place we're going to is not even going to give my stomach a chance to digest. I think it's like <laughs> two doors down or something like that. So, um, you know, there's still room. So, there's no reason to stop now. Let's keep going. So, Knight Baker. Knight Baker, a signature. So, uh, I'll, I'll do the honors and we're going to split it. Go. So, this is a peach mango. We're looking at a peach mango, all right? So went for something different, went for something fruity. Uh, I can't think of the last time I've ever had peach or mango in a cookie. So, uh, I'm excited for this Okay, let's give you the, the, the HD view. Uh, I don't want to butcher this though. Ooh, we got the thing oozing oh, out. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Okay. Oh Not yeah. Not perfect, but I'll just show you the filling there. There we go. Got the filling there, and then the other half here. All right. 
since I'm not that hungry, I don't know. There we I go. I think he's gonna take that one, but let, let's uh, see what we have. Let's dig in. Tastes very apple-y. That's a, that's a pie I'm tasting right apple. I'm tasting apple. You know, I'm not gonna lie, I'm definitely tasting apple as well. But I think that might be the combination of the mango and peach, sweetness of the peach. The, uh, I mean, almost a savoriness of mango, but that mango and mixed with sweetness maybe come off that way. It's, um, loving the texture. I'm loving. Mmm, that filling. Mmm. Tastes like the apple pie I had two weeks ago at Thanksgiving. I will say this. This is the saltiest cookie I've had of the day. And you know how I feel about that. This is delicious. 6.5 from your boy. 6.5, bro. So for me, see, I was I was expecting a um, see, it tastes like apples to me for some reason. It doesn't necessarily taste like peach or mango. So I was a little thrown off by that. Um, tasted a bit more of the crunchiness, not quite that soft um, experience that I expect in a bite. That being said, it is a good cookie. It's not getting a low score, but I think for this one, we're going to throw it at a 6.5, which is ironically your score as well. It is. But, you know, we have different yeah. metrics inside our heads, so. Listen to each their own, all right? Now, in regards to this place, it is by far aesthetically, you know, their cookies are just on a next level. The variety is on a next level. And the music they were playing in there was fantastic as well, all right? I endorse that. There we go. I'd say for the place, I'm definitely going back. Their, their variety of cookies were insane. You know, you gotta see it to believe it, check out their website or whatnot, but oof, delicious. Yeah, one thing I didn't mention, uh, and I should have maybe accounted for this in the score a little bit. Actually, we're gonna make an edit. We're gonna bump them up to a seven because I just remembered it is allowed. We are allowed to do that. Hey. Um, and the reason I'm doing that is because their variety of cookies in there was top notch. I felt like I was in an ice cream shop, but it was cookies. That's a great way to put it. That's a great way to put it. It was absolutely top notch, quite the variety. It's gonna be hard to uh, hold a handle to that, but uh, I'm sure we got a couple more to go to, don't we? Yeah, and uh, you know, I think we have a little ways of a walk before we get to the next one, which is much needed. Alright, so we are uh, dead in the middle of Little Italy, chilling with uh, Johnny Lombardi, alright. No one I'd most prefer to share a cookie with than, than him. There so. we go, there we go. So, uh, this is a big one and, and you know, I, uh, my stomach was cringing a little bit when I ordered this because I'm pretty full. Uh, but we got we got to show up this beauty, look at this. <laughs> Ooh. It's kind of like a cookie pizza. That's here. a wild boy. Look at all those chocolate chips. That's a chocolate chip. So this cookie. is from uh, Coco's, Coco's Neighborhood Cafe Coffee Shop um, here but, in Little Italy. Yeah. So uh, I don't know. So how how hungry are you? <laughs> I'm I'm pretty hungry. I'm pretty hungry. Okay, I've never had okay, a well, chocolate chip cookie of that magnitude before. Yeah. So um, that's I guess split it down the middle and let's see. Okay, you're getting the. I'll go for the smaller one. All right. Oh, all right. You're getting the big one. You're getting the big one. <laughs> All right, all right. I'm not gonna complain. I mean, look at that bad boy right there. You know, Coco's, uh, it's, it's a neighborhood spot for some. There are many other cafes that are fantastic. And uh, I've never tried their cookies, so here we go. I'm a Dave Portnoy, this one, one bite. Everyone knows the rules. But I'm actually gonna stick to the one bite. Poor no, I love you. I even love more the fact that it's uh, a little joke. But with this one, this time, that cookie, oh, everybody knows the rules, one bite. I'm going to let Kevin start this bad boy off with his positivity. It's never purely positivity. 
It always has every place has its positives and its negatives. Respect. Um, what I like about this place, they do not skim. The cookie is, is really, really big. Um, I believe it was also around four dollars, though. Don't quote me on that. Um, I like these mini chocolate chips all over the cookie. It kind of gives it a unique appearance. Um, very dense as well. Uh, a little bit rough around the edges, um, to be to be precise there, because it's kind of um, not soft, kind of around the outsides as much as maybe I expect it to be kind of crispy on the outsides, but it's a bit. It kind of seeps into the um, towards the center of the cookie, if that makes any sense. Hey, what you um, say? Now, it's it, it's good. It's really good. I'm just trying to see compared to the ratings in the other place where exactly. All right, take, take a moment. Take a moment. I got a thing or two to say about this cookie. It is uh, by far the most blandest cookie of the day. The chocolate chips are okay. There's a lot of them because. If there were less, you'd barely taste the chocolate. They kind of got that, uh, you know, um, uh, probably more of a semi-sweet. I'm not saying they're straight chip it, but I'm definitely saying that the cookie dough itself, not only could you use salt, but it could use more sugar, it could use more butter. The doughiness of it is more so dry than doughy. And, uh, you know, no disrespect, but this is my least favorite cookie of the day from my least favorite cafe in the neighborhood. So it is what it is. Oh, uh, you're lucky you got that. Let's see. So what are you giving it? You know what? I'm going... <clears throat> uh, I feel like it's generous, but I'm going with a 3.5. Okay. I'm going with a... I, I, hey, I can change it. I can change it. The man said I can change it, it's right? It's true, it's true. I'm going to go for one more bite. I'm going to let him lay it down. I'm going to give this a strong chance as a fan of cookies. Okay, let's lay it down. So, I, I named a lot of positives. Um, also named a couple negatives. For me, um, it's a 6.5. Um, also kind of not as good as some of the others we've tried today. Um, again, I kind of critiqued a bit of the texture around the outsides. Um, now, the cookie was big, it looked really good, so that bumps it up a little bit, but I think I've had better tasted cookies today. That being said, 6.5, still a respectable score. 6.5. I'm going with a, a generous three. Okay. Yeah. We both have our ways of seeing things. We do. Um, now, we do agree that it ain't the tastiest cookie of the day, though. It's not. Certainly not. Um, now, I think uh, we're going to try to do at least one more place. Um, Thank God, it, it is a long walk from here because we're gonna need some time to just take a bit of a break. I mean, I have a coffee here I'm gonna drink. So let's get out of here and uh, let's 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 see what else the day has in store. All right, see you later, Johnny Lombardi. Alrighty, so nice to find another graffiti wall. Not that hard here downtown. Uh, now we're kind of in the core, uh, kind of off Spadina, and we're at, uh, we just walked out of uh, Lou Gourmand, which is uh, supposedly one of the better ones. So uh, I'm at the point where I'm starting to feel a little queasy. So, uh, you know, I'll be taking a bite though for you guys, enough to, to make a, a, a solid review. So, all right. Well, we went for a peanut butter cookie. The man suggested it, and yeah, you know Yeah, something me, different. It sounds salty too, as peanut butter should be. Yeah, obviously, if, you, if you're if you allergic to peanut butter, I I pity you. Well, <laughs> I'm sure there's other good parts of your life, but, but it definitely sucks to be I mean, how allergic to peanuts. You? Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> a joke. All right, look at that thickness right there, okay? That bad boy, five bucks. No tip. 
Why? Because I knew what I wanted. I went in, I asked for a cookie, put it in a bag, and he gave it to me. That's a good job. And I you got what he paid it. for. I appreciate the job you did, okay? Did you go out your way? No. I appreciate what you did, and I appreciate what I got. Now, this big old peanut butter cooking, we are um, going to take a little the ball of that. Uh, go for it. I don't want go that much. It. I don't go want that much. Uh, oh, that's not too bad. There we go. Okay. There we okay. go. This is all, all, all I can stomach here. Woo. So, cheers. Here we go. I need a piece from the middle. I need to judge off the middle as well. Fair. There you go. Go for it. Get right in there. There we go. You got a nice top boy right there. Uh, okay. There we go. I don't know about this one. First and first, mostly, as a peanut butter cookie, I did expect it to be a little dry. But the middle had a little bit of a softness to it. Yet, at the same time as it was soft, it was still dry. That being said, flavor profile, I enjoyed the peanut butteriness. I enjoyed the salt factor, the sweet factor, but the texture and the dryness. Um, it's good, probably better with the coffee. Dip it in. Well, I have one, so <laughs> fortunate enough for me. Um, I don't know, this is, this is not it for me. I don't know what it is. Um, it's a little too flaky. Um, it's not, it doesn't have that firm density. As you said, it's a peanut butter cookie, so maybe the texture is going to be a bit different. You know, we could have went with a different cookie, and maybe my experience would have been slightly different. But, um, you know, the flavor here, the texture, it just didn't, didn't feel as, as fresh to me. It didn't have that fresh, um, kind of dense, soft sort of um, experience that I'm looking for. Um, so, if, in terms of ratings, you got one? You know, I got... I got a few boys who's working the spot, and I love it. My brother loves this, it. it's some of the best cookies. I initially wanted to go for a chocolate chunk, but the peanut butter was, uh, a call had to be made to change it up. You know, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad, because it's the peanut butter. If this was a chocolate chip, and it had the dryness that it had, and had the texture that it had, I'd be going four. But because it was peanut butter, I'm going with a solid five, because it ain't bad, it was good. I liked it. Okay, for me, um you know, and our rating systems are different, but mine's also going to be a five, um, which is my lowest score of the day. And I swear it's not because I'm getting more full. If I had an Andrea's right now, I could, I could take down like three Andrea's right now. Okay. Um, so that, that's my score. Their selection was, was not bad. Um, they had, they had at least five to choose from, I think five different flavors and they have a lot of other great stuff. I'm sure at that cafe. So if you want to check out a little Gourmand, uh, go for it. But, um, you know, it is what it is. We're gonna try and fit in one more before we wrap up the day. And it's it's one that uh, certainly has had some rave reviews. Yeah. So, um, let's head to Union. Woo! You get to the subway there, uh, but there's a Craig's Cookies down there, so uh, we had to stop by there. Um, again, so many good flavors to choose from. It was hard choice. So one more cookie for the day. <laughs> so we'll give my stomach another minute to rest. We'll let him do his cookie for us. All right. So show, show him <clears throat> what cookie you, you select. Craig's Cookies. It's the final cookie of the day. I want to end on a high note. So I'm thinking Craig's Cookies, no further cookies, why not go for their classic cookie? Now what is their classic cookie? 
It looks like a classic chocolate chip, all right? A little chocolate chip right there. And right off the bat, looking at it, if I were to say anything from the way the two of us have rated, we obviously have slightly different cooking preferences, but this looks like the amalgamation of what we both hold dear to our hearts, okay? From the outside, it looks like it's gonna have a good, strong exterior, the thickness, I'm thinking soft. Let's give it a go. That right there. That right there, that is the best cookie of the day. That is exactly what you want. Oh my goodness, I can taste the saltiness, I can taste the butter, I can taste the sweet, I can taste the chocolate, the texture, the inside soft, but it's perfectly cut. I'm salivating in between bites. That right there. Like when you bite in, the exterior melts. The middle, you don't taste dough. It's, this is, this is quite possibly, like that's the best cookie of the day. It might be the best cookie in Toronto. It's the best cookie of your life. No, I ain't gonna go that far. Okay. Maybe it is, if I had time to let's, think about let's it. Let's not get too crazy. Let's not get too wild, but you know what? I will say best cookie of the day, best cookie of possibly even the decade. All right? The decade, I'll go that far, I'll go that far. I mean, decade's been a long time. Maybe, uh, maybe. So you know. We're only halfway through this one, so we'll see. This one here though, I gotta say, for myself personally, I'm going with the crazy eight, baby. That was the eighth cookie of the day. Crazy eight. And it's getting an eight, crazy eights. That is a high score for you, boy. And um, I can't get enough. Mm. Well, mm. you get to see mm. one more cookie being eaten. Let's see if I salivate as much as he did. So, what we got here is something very different than the classic. This is a sour cherry cookie. So, and look at this green thing there. That ain't no cherry right there. I don't know what that is, but that's a sour. But, uh, <laughs> I don't know. We'll have to see what exactly that green thing is. But but I see the the red thing. They look like kind of cherry candies. So I don't know. Are there real cherries in there? I don't know. Uh, or manufactured cherries? We'll see. But um, oh, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Mmm. All right. See, we got chocolate chips in here too, so his cookie plus more. Mm. They got the texture right. This is A plus texture. Mm. The gummies create a bit more of a gooeyness, which I love. Mm. It's a little sour. Mm, it is indeed activating the sour taste buds. <laughs> Do one more bite here. I'm glad we redeemed ourselves. Um, we are back to one of the top cookies in my opinion. This is really, really good. Um, I'm going to give it a 8.75. Woo! 8.75. Not quite as good as Andrea's. Very, very close. Very, very close. Um, still a, a very solid score to end the day. Even when I'm not feeling like eating cookies anymore. <laughs> <laughs> they have so many flavors, flavors to choose from there. All gourmet. Uh, the cookie baby, two of all quality. Uh, highly recommend checking out Craig's. Uh, they got one down there in the Union Station. So if you're coming through Toronto, you got access to Craig's. There we go. It's the first cookie that I finished today. I'm done. That yeah. was day lay shook. I loved it. It's been it's been a good day. It has, and, uh, man. It good has. Day, good day for the stomach. Good day for the soul. <laughs> yes. All right, guys. So we are done for the day. We've now hit up. What was it like? Eight. Eight spots. Yeah. Uh, we did it for you guys. You know, even more than the donut video. Um, I think even more than the croissant video and definitely the taco video. So if you guys like this, if you enjoyed us seeing us eat cookies, uh, leave this one a like. And uh, if you want more food content, um, whether it's in Toronto or other places, uh, hit that subscribe button and click the bell to stay notified. You want to be staying notified. Um, and go check out Vicariously Kyle. I'll put the link to his channel in the description. And um, yeah, any final, any Yeah, final let me uh, thank you. 
for inviting me out to do of this course, cabin. I course. greatly appreciate it. And uh, I look forward to rocking some more content again in the future. Whether it be here in Canada or over in Southeast Asia, Japan, who knows, my man. Could be anywhere. Um, so that's it, I think. All right. Um, go out there, go eat a cookie right now. And until uh, next time, I'll see you in the next video.